my next tutorial so i want to show you how you can create uh, an excavation corridor model what i mean is that uh, for example if you wanted to show an excavation which has been designed and in this case i have uh, an excavation which has a cross section like that looks like this so this is a uh, a section of the cut but it also has a, a benching so for example if I just come to a surface I have created here from the corridor model this one here you can see I have a, I have this uh, this excavation surface so if you can uh, watch carefully you can see some parts which are not very deep the excavation is done to the ongl level but if some places are deep enough there is a uh, this uh, banking or uh, benching to create uh, some control the depth maybe for ease of working or maybe according to design so how do I do that is uh, by using uh, this this uh, assembly here and uh, to create this assembly I have used uh, a loop some assembly and uh, it also combined with uh, some some uh, links and codes to connect with the uh, loop subassembly and this is how I have achieved this uh, kind of uh, an, uh, um, a corridor model so I want to show you how I have uh, I, how I can recreate this so what I'll do I'll delete this model so so this one I can just uh, come here and get to the corridor and I want to select it and want to delete it so and this is the assembly I also want to delete it and also delete this uh, surface so that I can show you how, how I have uh, created it so with that the first thing i have to do is to create uh, an arrangement and this arrangement is just created from uh, a polyline here so from this uh, alignment i have been able to create a, a profile and this profile this is the ongl and for the original ground level and this is the design now for the uh, excavation level so this is the my level for my for the excavation profile as you can see and uh, how do I create the assembly so this is my just one assembly here and uh, like I had created one here maybe you can just call it uh, excavation excavation uh, more excavation uh, assembly and uh, just stick with the default and um, this is now my assembly now I want to get my sub assembly and this is the one that I have created from my sub assembly composer maybe if you want I can uh, show you how to make it so this is the sub assembly and then I, I just come have it here and maybe I have another one on the same but instead of just uh, doing like that I'll just come here and mirror like, like this 
so how do we change our sample assembly so maybe we can just come here and change our assembly properties so we just come here and maybe we can change for example the cross fold is the this is the grain on the on this uh, on this surface so let's just come here and we can now change some things here so we just put that to be zero and this one will just uh, indicate as a cross fall of zero like that so what is the excavation mean uh, this from here to here is my excavation width the bottom excavation width so let us just maintain uh, two meters so uh, two meters is one side on one side so the other one will also be two meters so we end up with four meters so we can even put it to be 1.5 and this one we just do the same 1.5 what else we can change is the sign slope so this is the sign slope so this one is maintained as one maybe i can put uh, 0 0.25 i don't know if it will make it steeper so let us say yes it's steeper this one we can still do the same 0 0.25 apply and this is the bench height so the bench height we can also reduce maybe let's to try 1.25 and this one uh, the bench height let us do the same one point two five. the bench will let's put a 0 0.5 although it can depend with the whatever you want to work with so 0 0.5 and uh, the bench has a, a cross slope so maybe we can just maintain uh, these two it is okay or you can even maintain uh, any percentage uh, the slope or the grid that you want maybe you can just do 2.5 and let's check the other one 2.5 like that now 2.5 and uh, the next thing now I think we, are, we can just work with that so now this is my assembly and we can just uh, push it a little so what is now remaining is for us to create a, a corridor model so we just select the assembly then go to the corridor model then after that let's just remain this name excavation corridor you can just add model like that uh, the alignment is you have you can select so this is the alignment and i want to use the profile profile will be this one here and the assembly that we want to use will be this one here so after that which is the target surface so this is the target surface the OGL and then we are okay then after that we can come here and work with the change the frequency maybe I can put 5 here I 
put one because it is just a small profile maybe another five even you can just uh, do it an increment maybe one or you can you can even just work with the i think this is okay so then after that we go to the set target and i think the targets are okay now we haven't specified the offset targets but those one you can just input after we have uh, we are done with our modeling so we will build apply okay so let's see what we have so this is our model here this is our coded model and uh, I think uh, I want to first of all find this and I want to maybe create uh, I want to create some to create some uh, constraints for our offset targets so we can just have this one and then uh, maybe mirror doesn't matter just for our practice so maybe this is uh, the way we want this ground to the excavated surface plan layout to look like so this i want to change the appearance of this um, surface here so i just want to come back and uh, have my model back so i'll just come here and now i want to set the target so just click here and i want the we have left and I want to be sure that uh, which side is left and which side is right so I want to make sure that this side is left and this side is the other side is right so just come here and I want to edit target like that. So this will be like that. And the other one, this one. So for this one, I had I don't have. A, an elevation target which can be a profile can be it can even be a profile or it can also be a feature so I don't know I don't have it and you can see now my model has now changed to conform to these uh, polylines that I have here so I want to create a surface from this coded model so what I'll do I'll just come here and do according to surface and just create one here I don't know to then maybe I can change the name like that and I want to add the codes like that And I want to change and I so 
from there now we can just go to the surface the one that we have created and you can see it now let's see what we have so we have our we have our surface here like that we have our surface it is looking like that so this is the surface that we have created now if we want to have a, a combination of an ongl surface and uh, the excavated corridor model you can just come here and create a surface and that surface maybe we call it a combined surface like that and then uh, this surface it's empty so what you just do is come to end it and then paste the surface and this is the you start with the ones here and then uh, you end it again paste the surface the corridor model like that so now if you come to the surface here you have to so one is the combined the other one is the OGL so you can just view what is happening and you can see we have uh, our surface which is now combined and then these are the benching these are the benches and these benches are according to according to what we have uh, shown on the on this uh, assembly so i think uh, maybe this surface now can be used to calculate the excavation uh, volumes which i want to do in another video so thank you very much for